Proverbs 31:25, she dresses with strength and nobility and smiles at the future. It means to me that I'm completely transformed because what that verse says about who I am now is not who I was before. Before coming to John 3:17, my life was very chaotic. I was very reckless. Um, I didn't care about myself or anyone else. At John 3:17, I've learned how to live a normal everyday life without turning to drugs or alcohol. I can do everyday tasks without having to get high, without drinking or doing drugs <laughs> or acting crazy. After I graduate, I plan on going back to my hometown and trying to rekindle the relationship with my kids. To all of the residents, I just strongly encourage y'all not to give up. Keep pushing. You can do this. Trust God's timing. Trust His plan for your life. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 and it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path and that verse means to me that um, when we just take the time just to be still you can't do anything else and you're trusting completely in God that he actually moves mountains and he can do things and you can hear his voice and his direction for your life I've learned at John 3 17 all about relationships how to be in relationship with myself, with God, with others, and that's something that I won't take with me, like forever. <laughs> After I graduate uh, John 3:17, I will be going to Searcy and transitioning to Stronger and Stronger. Um, there, I will also um, be attending, hopefully in January, uh, at Harding University. So, anybody that's still in the program, I recommend that you read First Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. Don't just read it; be it. Be that verse. I love you.